Hey guys, even here, so as you probably already heard, Blessing of Wadibu won the New York Pro very deservedly. In this video we're gonna check out the other divisions as well, the results from New York Pro. As far as Blessing of Wadibu, this was definitely his best ever, this is his breakthrough year. He won two shows back to back and he's going to the Mr. Olympia, he is the king of New York, look at this pose, this looks amazing. Uh, but let's be honest, I mean this wasn't exactly the craziest, the deepest lineup and I'm thinking about this right now especially because he called out Nick Walker after he won this show on stage. Uh, he called out Nick Walker and he basically said that Nick Walker won New York when it was held in Tampa, so the real king of New York is blessing not Nick Walker and he also says that he's going to beat Nick at Mr. Olympia and I understand he's trying to create that rivalry again but by saying this I don't know he kind of made me criticize him more heavily you did want New York last year right but that wasn't in New York that was in Tampa <laughs> hey that's fact right that's fact so I'm loudly saying now the boogeyman is the Real king of New York. Hey, yo, we're going to the Olympia, right? Yeah! You know what's going to happen? What's the... I'm going to whoop you, Nick. I see you at the 2022 Mr. Olympia, baby. You ain't got nothing else to say, Nick. Get out of here. After all the drama last year coming to last year's New York when Blessing was saying that he's going to beat Nick and he ended up being 8th and Nick won the show, after that they became friends, Blessing and Nick, and Nick says that Blessing is actually a really nice guy, blah blah blah, but you know in the meantime Nick also ended up winning uh, the Arnold Classic and placing top 5 at the Mr. Olympia, while Blessing did basically nothing. So maybe in the meantime, actually Blessing was a little bit bitter because Nick was a star, a rising star and Blessing was still just a funny Instagram bodybuilder. And maybe, just maybe, maybe this, all, this whole thing is not really fake, maybe Blessing was a little bit resentful after that. And now after making this video, maybe this is more fun, but really he's, he's trying to compare himself to somebody who is, in my opinion at least, much better bodybuilder. So here's a comparison between Blessing in his probably his best pose. I think this is this and front double bicep are his best poses. And here is Nick when he won in New York Pro. But I think he looked better at Arnold probably. And uh, here is a comparison. And I don't think this is really uh, to be compared. I think Nick is 10 times better, really. I mean, just the legs alone from the front, also from the sides, from the back as well. Nick absolutely kills him in leg department. But even upper body, I mean, Blessing still needs to fill out this frame. He kind of has, you know, a really big frame, like probably long limbs. Uh, I don't know what's the thing, but I think Nick is definitely more compact, bigger, more massive, uh, rounder, harder even. And I personally don't see any scenario where Blessing beats Nick. No, not this year. Maybe in a couple of years, if he really fills out the frame and comes even bigger, harder, fuller, rounder, whatever, just overall better. But this year, I don't think these guys are going to be in the same level. I think Nick actually has a chance of winning the Mr. Olympia this year. Again, he was really good at New York and Arnold, but at the Mr. Olympia, he faded. He did not look like he looked here, so if everything goes well and if he makes a little bit more progress this year, he will definitely, I think he will jump places and Blessing, I don't see him being better than Ian Valier, I don't see him being top 7, I see him maybe cracking the top 10 this year, so again, this rivalry, it's probably gonna be like a fake rivalry, <laughs> you know, this is not the real comparison, he should be compared to guys like... Maybe Samson Dauda, Steve Kuklo, I don't know, Regan Grimes, that, that kind of level, that kind of caliber, not to Nick Walker. Nick Walker is a top tier bodybuilder. If you say the top tier is top 5, the finals at the Mr. Olympia, and let's say Blessing is a second tier bodybuilder. And again, this New York was not really that tough to win. So no, I don't think Blessing is going to be challenging Nick Walker, not this year, no. Before we move on, real quick, I just want to suggest to you guys to try this protein. It's called Vintage Brown by the Old School Labs. It is not just a regular whey protein, it's actually kind of like food, because this is actually beef isolate 
whey isolate and egg white protein so it's really high quality stuff it's like real food basically and it also tastes absolutely amazing so guys if you want to support me and my channel try this product out click on the link in the description of this video and use the code even let's go now this here is the entire top five so i made a mistake i really thought max charles was gonna be second at least i thought he was pushing blessing Maybe something changed from uh, the pre-judging to finals, I gotta check the scorecard, but maybe it's just, you know, the footage, the, the, the photos that aren't exactly super high quality, maybe it was different in person, but based on the photos I thought Max was actually really good and that he was pushing Blessing, but he ended up in third. And Andrea Presti on the left here actually was second, so that was kind of surprising for me. But I'm not complaining, I mean, he also looked very good, he was conditioned and he was really big. I also could have seen Tia on the left here, who ended up in fourth. I could have seen him, second or third. But this is the way it played out. Uh, Justin Rodriguez uh, cracked the top five somehow, barely. A very, very bad uh, two weekends for him. Indie Pro and this New York Pro, a big disappointment. What people are saying is that he competed too much, that he should take some time off, but is that really the issue? It looks like he's kind of starting to form palomboism, right? I mean, his waist looks much bigger. There is no definition. You can't basically see any abs on that midsection. And the surface area of the midsection is really big. Like, it takes a lot of space, and because of, the, because of its size, everything else looks much smaller like the lats are basically even showing uh, the chest looks also much smaller the limbs like the arms the arms look tiny look at the shoulders so much smaller than before even the legs like he oiled them up but here they don't really look that good because of that midsection because of the of the waistline so i'm wondering is this it for justin maybe it's the end of his career his physique was never aesthetic, it was always very much rugged, but this time around, it looks the worst it ever did. I would love him to prove me wrong, I would love him to come back later this year or next year, fresh and, you know, looking much better, much tighter. Hopefully he can somehow uh, bring the waist size down as well. I don't know if it's gonna be possible, if this is the point of no return. We'll see, though, next year or later this year. Uh, because I think he's gonna have enough points to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. So maybe he's gonna do the Mr. Olympia. And how well will he do? You guys tell me. Tell me what you think. Here is your 212 winner, Noel Adam. This guy looked like a freak. Like he has that 3D effects everywhere. Uh, those quads from the from the sides, they look amazing. They look really freaky, bubbly, insane. Look at the chest and the shoulders and the conditioning he brings is always good. Uh, but the shape of the quads from the front is really weird, but when he is conditioned, you know, it kind of looks, it looks good, like, it looks pretty symmetrical, uh, the glutes are always conditioned, so this guy definitely brought it, I mean, he came peeled, he came really muscular, really massive, and he deserved this win in 212, so he's going to the Mr. Olympia, uh, he can't change the shape of those quads, but they are making him look special, very different, very interesting. As far as man's physique, Sadi Hatchovic didn't manage to win New York Pro. Uh, I think his conditioning was pretty much just as good as Pittsburgh. Maybe he was a little bit flatter. I'm not sure. It was details. Basically, he was he was good. He was spot on, but just the competition was more fierce. And the other two guys were simply better. I saw it happening. He ended up in third. The winner of classic physique was Neil Curry. He is coached by Milo Sarchev. This guy was shredded to the bone. Uh, he's going to the Mr. Olympia. Do I see him placing better than top 10 at the Mr. Olympia? No, not really. He has a lot of muscle and he's really shredded and he has some interesting shape. He is really muscular and really conditioned as well, but he doesn't have that classic uh, aesthetic shape like, for example, Chris Bumstead, Terrence Ruffin, uh, Ramon Dino, Urs, and the other guys. So, best case scenario, I can see him in top 10 because of this conditioning, but can I see him ever like being top 5, top 6 at Mr. Olympia? I don't think so. And unrelated to New York Pro, but related to classic physique that we just talked about, here is Horse MD. Look at the... <sighs> I don't know what to say. Look at this freaking guy. What the hell is this? Is this gonna be classic physique? I can't believe. I mean, he already told us his weight, and I checked what is his weight limit, so he can definitely make it, 
but every time he posts an update he looks better than the previous time and you would expect the opposite you would expect because he has to diet down so much and lose so much weight he would look worse and worse and he would look more impressive in the off season you know a little bit more bulky no no as he's getting leaner he is getting freakier it looks like it's all going really well for him and if this guy gets in classic physique and it's not gonna be fair look at this freaking freak this guy looks just as big as some of the open bodybuilders like for example uh rafael brandau he looks that big that massive so this is going to be a serious threat to mr olympia throne to chris bumstead but you know we still have to see him on stage and compare to those top five guys but if these photos are accurate this is gonna be like a big threat this is a dangerous bodybuilder right here so guys that's gonna do it for this video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and for more videos like this subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye